for the last of our five finals this afternoon. We've already had finals in progress for five hours and that's an indication of just how wonderful these matches have been. The men's doubles final should be explosive, dynamic and exciting. The world and Olympic champions from Indonesia, Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan. Kaiyun and Zhu Chen. Kaiyun, of course, holder of this title with his normal partner Fu Hai Feng. So the toss of the coin to decide which pair will start which end, which pair will serve. Kendra Sethiawan, 24-year-old from Kamelang in Indonesia. Taller of the two Indonesian men, Marcus Kido also 24 years of age, born in Jakarta. They are the world number one ranked pair. They lost in the quarter final a year ago here at the French Open. Lost out to Chun Tan Fuk and Li Wan Wa of Malaysia. But this year, they've been very impressive. Quarter final victory over the number five seeds from Malaysia. Mohamed Zakri Abdul Latif and Mohamed Fadrazi Zouan, Mohamed Tazari. Two straight games in that quarter final, and then a semi final against the number three seeds, Kuki and Kiat and Tandu Hyong of Malaysia. Needed three games, though, dropped the opening game 17 21 before coming back 21 16, 21 14 in the decider. So Kai Yun and Zhu Chen, this new partnership, Kai Yun, 28 years of age, Zhu Chen. 23, although he'll turn 24 at the end of this month. Kai Yun, of course, holder of this title, playing with Fu Hai Feng. And with Fu Hai Feng, Olympic silver medal in Beijing. Winners of the world title back in 2006. All England winners in 2008. And if you're wondering why on earth such a successful partnership has just been split, well, they haven't been split permanently. Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng both asked to play with younger partners at these two Super Series events just to help bring on the younger players. And what a clever move that has been by the Chinese coaching staff because last week Fu Hai Feng and Cheng Ye reached the final. This week, Kai Hu Yun and Xu Chen have reached the final. Just seeing the final stages of that semi final encounter Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan against the number three seeds Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Bu Hyong. But for the Chinese pair, they too have had their troubles in getting through to today's final against Mohamed. Hashan and Berna Septino of Indonesia. Three games required there. Of course, Berna Septino, brother of Marcus Kido. The world and Olympic champions, Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan. Second final in two weeks. They won the Danish Open a week ago. They're up against the new combination of Kai Yun and Zhu Chen. Indonesians, this is their sixth 
final of the year. They've already won four titles. The Malaysian Open, the first of the Super Series events, and of course the Olympic Games, China Masters, and Danish Open. So they've won the last two Super Series tournaments. Xu Chen, there he is, 23 year old. And the more experienced 28 year old Kai Yun, born in Jiangsu province. He, of course, is ranked number two in the world playing with Fu Hai Fung. Wolfgang Lund will be our umpire for this men's doubles final. And Sven Thury of Belgium, service judge. There's Wolfgang Lund of France, our umpire. And gentlemen, on my right, Marcus Kiddo, Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. <laughs> on my left, Chai Jun, Chu Chen, China. Yes, just getting a little tongue tied Kiddo, with the names there. To Chai Jun, love all. So the Indonesians Marcus Kido and Hendra Sadiawan, the World and Olympic champions in the all black kit, up against the number six seeds Kai Yun and Zhu Chen. These two pairs met each other in the semi final of the Danish Open last week, and what a thrilling match it was! Three tough games. Indonesians dropping the opening game 21-23 and then coming back 21-10, ah! 21-14. <laughs> Doubles all about the attacking play, working to set your partner up at the net. Service over. Three, two. Good. Service over. Three, four. <laughs> That's a brilliant shot from Kai Yun. Four, 
three. Side. Side two. Yes, it's Kai Yun to Marcus Kido. much their favoured formation. Kido at the back of the court said he won controlling proceedings from the front. So it's over. Four, five. Service over, six, four. Oh my goodness, he doesn't miss many of those. Yeah, the Chinese players four. smile at each other. They know how lucky they were to get away with that. Satyawan reading the game from the front of the court. He's a very quiet, unassuming man. who reached the final of the China Masters Super Series event Whoa. with Sun Jun Jae. thought were very impressive yesterday Nine, in their semi-final against the number two seeds, the former world champions Lars Borska and Jonas Rasmussen of Denmark. 21-18, 21-9, margin of victory. He seemed to hold so that push for a long, long time, Ten, Demarcus Kido. Nine. Kept his opponent guessing. <laughs> Eleven, nine, interval. So it's the Indonesians, and they have a two-point advantage only. And a game interval. Just six minutes of play. Much, much longer rallies seen in the women's doubles final. Eleven, nine, play. Ah! 
lift as long to that back line. So it's over. 10, 11. Chang Jun, twice Olympic mixed doubles champion 2000 and 2004 with Gao Ling. Oh, that's a clever little shot from Kido. So too is that. Well, I sing the praises of Hendra Sethiawan at the front of the court. And Marcus Guido just making the point that he too can read the game at the front. Both the Indonesians are actually very clever, very tactically astute. Chen just trying a little too hard. It's a great opportunity for the youngster. And they're trying to pressurize him. Indonesians. Oh, that was going out. Yeah. But he responded well, did Xu Chen. Calling the youngster. 23 well, years of age, he'll turn 24 at the end of the month. But let's not forget that both Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan are only 24 years of age. Service over. It's over 13, 18. Oh, that's incredible. Took the shuttle off the top of the tape from a net court. Um, brilliantly played by Kai Yun. Coming forward so quickly. Four in he comes. I can remember watching him and Fu Haifeng when they won the World Championships in Madrid in 2006. They were playing against Robert Blair and Anthony Clark in that men's doubles final. And I don't think I've seen any players quite as quick as that. <laughs> Real hesitation by the line judge to make the call. That's wide. Six. 
game points. 20, game point 14. Yeah, well taken by Kayun. It's one saved. 15-20. Still another five game points though for the Indonesians. Oh, what a return from Marcus Kido. Just 12 minutes of play. First game won by Marcus Kido, Hendra Setiawan, 21-50. Chang Chun talking to his players. He was a great character on court was Chang Chun. A little larger nowadays is Zhang Jun than when he was playing. Sorry. Happens to us all when we quit playing. Marcos, who will be serving? Second game, double play. Service over. Well, it would be quite extraordinary if this One Indonesian pair love. won their third consecutive Super Series tournament. Oh, my goodness. How on earth did he generate that power on the One backhand? Four. That was extraordinary. Service over. Two, one. Chinese players always very intense on court. These two men's doubles players. Whereas the Indonesians at times look a little laid back, certainly not at the moment. <coughs> Looking very sharp. Rally. Three, two. Totally outmaneuvered the Chinese players. So it's over. Three, four. Oh, my word, look at that return of serve. Very similar to the return that closed out the opening game. But even tighter, just brushing over the shuttle. Well, it's been called good. The Indonesian surprised by the call, I have to say, I can sympathise. <laughs> That's not possible, surely. Well, 
This is just phenomenal. Five. What an incredible night shot from Marcus Kido. Serve your silver. Five. All. Oh, sensational rally. The flat fast interchanges. The almost trick shot from Marcus Guido to play it deep into the forehand corner. Six, five. Oh. And Kai Yun dropping his racket to the floor, an indication five. of the frustration. And it's not frustration. I know he made the error on that last one. I think it's frustration with just how well his opponents are playing. What on earth do you do to counteract it? Wide. Service over. Six, eight. Important, I think, for the Chinese pair that they get back to parity. Get too far behind having lost the opening game. The Indonesians, when they're in front, thrive off being front runners. Clever smash for Marcus Kido. Saw that Kai Yun was waiting, committed to his backhand defence. Nine, six. Yeah, we may not be the tallest of men. Marcus Kido just one metre sixty-five, but my goodness, he's got powerful legs. Leaps in the air to play the jump smashes. Zhang Jun looking a little bit concerned. Oh my goodness. Ten, six. I'm not sure if he meant to leave that. I mean, landed on his back. Oh, goodness me. Marcus Kido is having an absolute purple patch at the moment. And it's the World and Olympic champions who have a five-point advantage at the mid-game interval. in the Dakubatan Stadium just as enthusiastic as they have been throughout the week here in Paris. 11-6, second game having taken the first. Uh, Marcus Kido, I said just before the mid-game interval that he was having a purple patch and he's continued that on. 12-6. Just needs to readjust his knee support Pi Hong Yan beaten women's singles finalist last year. Interested spectator here on finals day. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah. And it was a run of four Step straight back. points. do feel have got to start getting themselves back into this but it's so difficult when the Indonesians are so sharp they're playing so well it's a little long of that back line service over 8-13 Right idea from Chu Chen. Service over. Trying to just play the little box in front of Marcus Kido. Right idea, but wrong execution. Well, you wouldn't believe they're in only their second tournament together. The Chinese pair interchanging so well with awareness of where the other is on court. But of course, they're both based at the National Training Centre in Beijing, training together on a daily basis. smash from Kido. He has been the outstanding player in the final. 17-9. Yeah, another winner from his racket. 18-9. Just three points away from the third consecutive Super Series title. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. Well, when it's all happening, ride your luck. But there was nothing lucky about that. That was sheer skill, the audacity, the confidence to play a shot like that. Ten point advantage now. Oh, Kai Yun just saying, well, maybe playing well. Service over. Ten. For just beware. 19. points for the world and Olympic champion. Low serve is short of that front side of this line. fault is called and that gifts the match what a disappointing way for this men's doubles final to end just 26 minutes in duration the shortest final this afternoon and only the second final that was won in two straight games the other being the first final of the day the mixed doubles but that lasted 42 minutes, as so often in men's doubles nowadays.
they tend to be the quickest matches on court. The confirmation of the score, 21-15, 21-12. And the world number one ranked pair, the world and Olympic champions, Marcus Kido and Hendra Satya won their fifth title of the year in their sixth final. What a terrific record in the finals. So as they leave the court, of course, the prize presentation with the men's doubles coming up in just a moment, but chance for us to reflect on today's wonderful matches. All started with the mixed doubles with the European champions going down to the Olympic bronze medalists, He Hanbin and Yu Yang of China. And then in the women's singles, the 2007 World Junior Champion Wang Lin coming through against the Olympic silver medalist, the far more experienced player, Shi Feng, her teammate from China. 21-18, 13-21, 21-11 in the deciding game. And then it was the turn of the men's singles, and what a thriller that was. The former Olympic champion Taufik Hidiat of Indonesia losing out to Peter Gaida the former world number one and former four times European champion in three thrilling games. Women's doubles went the full distance too. In fact, the Malaysians Chin Ihui and Wong Pei Ti were just two points away from winning the women's doubles in two straight games. They were 19-17 up in the second game, having taken the first. But the Olympic champions came back strongly in the decider. Du Jing and Yu Yang. And now the men's doubles The Indonesians, the only title for Indonesia here at the French Open. Three titles, of course, for China. One title for Denmark. Kai Yun talking to his young partner. He was here to give him experience. And he certainly has had a great experience the last two weeks. Semi-final and a final. And I'm sure we'll see in the next Super Series event, the China Open, Kai Yun back with Fu Haifeng. One of the reasons, of course, they'll be back together because of, there's a Super Series Finals this year. That was announced three days ago. And wonderful news it is to Super Series Finals, 18th to the 21st of December in Kota Kinabalu in Malaysia. Acknowledging what a good tournament they've had. Kai Yun used to give the younger of the two men experience in major competition. And he's certainly done that. Helped him through to the final here. They have played a terrific tournament. They defeated the number two seeds in the semi final last Porska and Jonas Rasmussen and beat them convincingly but came up second best today in the final and there should be no shame in that they've won their third consecutive super series title China Masters, Danish Open last week, and this week here in Paris, the French Open title as well. It's their fifth title of the year because, of course, they won the first Super Series event of the year, the Malaysian Open, and the Olympic title in Beijing. They are, without any shadow of a doubt, 
the most outstanding pair in men's doubles currently in world badminton. It's been an absolutely terrific week here in Paris. The crowds have been phenomenal. They've poured in every day. They're a knowledgeable crowd. They know their badminton and they've appreciated the wonderful play. Three titles in the end to China, the mixed doubles, the women's singles and the women's doubles as well. One title to Denmark for Peter Gaida, his second title in two weeks. And one title for Indonesia with these two men, Marcus Kido and Hendra Setiawan. Of course, the Super Series tour moves on. The next Super Series event is the China Open from the 19th to the 23rd of November. But this French Open has been concluded on a dramatic day of finals. What a wonderful time we've had here in Paris. Congratulations to all the winners and all finalists because they have given us five tremendous finals today. But until the next time, the next Super Series event from all of us here in Paris. Thanks for your company. From myself, Jill Clark and the entire production team. Bye for now.